Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I am like so excited to be here um, with Dr. Deidre Mason. I actually feel very honored. So, you know, thank you so much for, for doing this for us. But I do want to give you a formal introduction. So for those of you that don't know Dr. Deidre Mason, she's actually the director of Nutrimetrics and Clinical Education. And she is a naturopathic physician emphasizing complementary approaches to chronic disease. So I'm sure you guys have heard about some of the things that she's done because she has been doing a lot of webinars for us, which is absolutely amazing. I learn from you all the time, so I really appreciate that. Um, but she's also a graduate of National College of Natural Medicine. And Dr. Mason uses a diverse combination of naturopathic medicine, Western botanical medicine, physiotherapy, and conventional medical therapies to recover each individual's full potential for wellness. And you're also a licensed um, naturopathic physician and also um, a candidate for American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. So we're gonna be talking a little bit about that tonight. And you practice lifestyle medicine since 2000. Yes. So, oh my gosh, like that is absolutely amazing. And for those of you just joining us, um, you can put some questions in the question and answer box. Um, the chat box gets a little congested. So try to, if you have any questions as we go, put them there. But thank you so much for joining us tonight, Dr. Deidre. Yeah, my pleasure. This is actually a great topic, what we get to do tonight. We get to talk about beauty from the inside out. And we're going to pull in some really good health tips while we do it. And I know you're like the best person to talk about that because like you always just look amazing. Your skin is always amazing. And everybody always asks me what your regimen is. <laughs> so hopefully you'll share a little bit with us what you do take. But I think one of the questions that I get most, and I know a lot of people probably ask you the same, is we do have a lot of products that we could use for, you know, beauty from the inside out. So, you know, how do you know what to choose when we're looking at our products? It's a really, really good question because you're right. There's a lot of things that we could take and there's a lot of overlap. And I don't mean product to product. I just mean in best practices. Do I need more protein? And that's why we talk about things like collagen. Do I need more antioxidants? They get blood flow to the skin, not just blood flow to the heart. But I start when it comes to skin health regimens, the way I start anybody's regimen, which is you've got to have a sound foundation of detox. And so I love. And when I say I love, I mean, I personally take, I won't be without. It's, um, it's more than just sent to me on a regular basis, right? I've got it also in the pantry to make sure that I'm never out of it. And that's the timeless prescriptions, mm. oxygen extreme. So this is a way for us, um, both as men and women, to use things like beta carotene for skin health immune health and well-being, but also detoxification. There's silymarin, it's also known as milk thistle in this product. And so that's for that healthy detoxification. And I don't know if you know this, but liver botanicals are beneficial at um, working as we age with not just detoxifying the body, but also helping us with hormones. So we want to manage or support healthy hormone balance as we age, because that's a big part of the um, luminosity of skin, but also just the, that appearance of that radiance, that health of skin, because we're going to hold on to volume when our hormones are balanced. You've met someone that doesn't look well, um, and we often where do we see it? We see it in their skin, right? So when someone hasn't been eating well, someone's been getting too much sugar, maybe they've got a toxic lifestyle, we see it in their skin. So liver support really wears the pants in the family when it comes to healthy skin, healthy aging, healthy balance, because we're going to ultimately give people healthy detoxification. You know, it's interesting. A lot of people will say they want more energy. And that's another reason why I love the Timeless Prescription Oxygen Extreme, because there's ECGCs in there. So uh, this is um, a, a green uh, tea. These are antioxidants that are part of green tea that are great for energy. Um, but they, if you, if, 
if you don't already know this, I want you to know anytime you see a formula with ECGCs, green tea, it's also improving bioavailability. And that's one of the magic parts of this product is that it uses liposomal technology for better absorption, for utilization. And in this case, that translates to better energy and detoxification and healthy skin that requires a bit of energy. And so this is where I start with any health product, anti-aging, the road to health is paved with good intestines. And that means we're gonna focus on detox to get our skin in shape. That makes so much sense when you explain it that way. And I love that because it's so true. We can see that on people's skin. And you know that's why we're really talking about this too is because even me as a skincare special, specialist, sometimes I'll meet with clients and you know, I'll ask them questions like that because you can see it on their skin and nobody's ever really asked them those questions. They'll just worry about what they're putting on their skin, but it really does make a difference on what you're taking internally as well. So that product, you know, how often do you take it personally a day? So I take, I, I just use the two uh, capsules twice a day, but I'm really glad that you ask me about how often do I take a product? Do I take it more than is recommended? Right. Um, do I see a bigger impact if I do take more? And you will see that with some antioxidants. Mm -hmm. This does have 5,000. Um, I use a beta carotene in it. So that's enough for the day, especially if you're already taking a multivitamin. Um, but along those lines, I think it's important um, to kind of have our regimen, people will sometimes ask, when is the best time to take yeah, a supplement? Actually, My answer is always the same, Lee. It's always when you remember yeah, to take a supplement. Advice. But it's interesting that you would ask me about timing yeah. um, or about time of day, because um, I am a big fan of twice a day dosing on many things, whether it's collagen that we might talk about today, it's your antioxidants, so pycnogenol in the morning, right? And that's, I see that you have Beauty Blend there, and that's got pycnogenol in it, yet many people use a daily essentials packet um, for um, their, um, their multivitamin. I uh, use Women's Health as one of my options. Um, and so along those lines, um, we do find that antioxidants work really well twice a day. Mm -hmm. And so I may take my, my timeless prescriptions, um, you know, just after I've taken my isotonics, maybe even after I've eaten because I want to take it on um, a, a full stomach, especially if botanicals bother people, go ahead and take tablets and capsules with food. But there's other reasons to take antioxidants away from other antioxidants, not because they interfere, but because you get a big, you get a better area or coverage, what I like to say, under the curve, if you take antioxidants twice a day. So there is, there is real merit to doing that. That makes sense to me. And I think a lot of people are even in the, the chat, they're saying, yeah, I, I do take a lot of antioxidants. So I think it makes a lot of sense to kind of space it out. And I'm glad you're talking about this product because I do feel like it is a product that's not really talked about a lot. Um, I know when I do my classes, you know, people are like, wow, I didn't even know that we had something like that. So if you guys have not tried it, I definitely would consider trying it because you will, you'll love it. And Can I give one little pro tip about this product. Yeah. Um, the magic of this product wasn't just its ingredients. It's the fact that I spent a lot of time on my feet. Mm -hmm. And you know people in your industry that still spend a lot of time on their feet. And in the case of someone doing um, treatments, they may not just be on their feet, but also um, kind of rolled over a bit, right? Mm -hmm. working, with, um, as, um, working with skincare and facial treatments. Mm -hmm. um, one of the benefits that I have found from this product is when you're on your feet all day and you feel like your feet might swell, or you feel like you need that kind of, and that water balance support, that's something that Oxygen Extreme is hugely beneficial for because your kidneys are a detox organ as well. So it's your lymphatics, your skin, your liver, your gallbladder, your intestines, those kidneys, everything's getting covered. It's really, really powerful with this product. Wow, I love that. And I mean, when you look at the ingredients in it, it's, it's just amazing what is all in it. And I do want to let everybody know that we do have a new flyer um, on the Timeless Prescription Oxygen Extreme. Um, we just actually, I think, got them a few weeks ago. So 
you know, we're really trying to come up with more tools to help you guys. And it's got all the ingredients on there and, you know, tells you a little bit about the product. So I know a lot of people are asking, what product is she talking about? It's the Timeless Prescription Oxygen Extreme. So I, I do know that that's one of your favorite products it is. now. And I can see that your skin looks amazing. So probably has something to do with that. So on top of that product, what else would you recommend someone when we're talking about beauty from the inside out? Well, I mean, going back along those lines of building a really sound foundation, right? Whether you're doing it for energy, more energy or um, energy or a better aging, I'm um, definitely from skin health. I'd mentioned the antioxidants and their superpower is carrying oxygen, in particular, pycnogenol. Its superpower is getting blood flow to tissues. And it's one of the reasons why it's, it's such a profound product to take OPC3. Um, um, OPCs or pycnogenol are in nine different products. Um, and that's, I would say the next foundation is to have that healthy blend of antioxidants, including um, the what like the pycnogenol but also things like vitamin c which are perfect collagen builders um looking at ingredients like in the beauty blend it's your little mini skin multivitamin right it's your it's your little mini skin custom cocktail and while you're using your multivitamin to be able to bend and lift and twist right to get through your day and get all of that metabolic jazz taken care of. You want something that's not just targeted to your skin, right? You want something that's able to kind of fill in above what your multivitamin is trying to do. You know, what we have to remember in health, especially if we're overly stressed, if we're underfed, if we're underslept, we have got to remember that your body triages nutrients. It's using nutrients that you get from food or from supplementation for its most critical uses. And that means keeping the heart going, uh, keeping the nervous system working, definitely keeping the detox system going. And that means some, um, let's just be honest, some of the aesthetic stuff can fall off, right? It's going to be like, oh, sorry, Charlie, right? I used all of your magnesium to keep your blood um, pumping and um, and to keep your vascular system functioning. I didn't let, really let you have any for your skin. Yeah. The same is true for vitamin C. It's critical um, as a component of our cells and the way our cells communicate. So if you're over burdening yourself with stress and lack of sleep or poor food choices, even your multivitamin isn't going to ever make it that stretch, right? You just don't have the micronutrient bandwidth to protect your face, right? To protect your skin and to yeah. age well. And so that's why I love my little mini skin cocktail. Yes. And that's what the skin health formula or the beauty blend formula does. It makes sure that there's enough on board to take care of my skin, but it also is really sound because it's focusing on nature as well. It's building on that foundation, healthy detoxification, a multivitamin, or in this case, a skin multivitamin, right? And what are some of the things you're going to notice on top of feeling radiant or more energy or just having your little skin cocktail? Um, there's hyaluronic acid in this product and that gives buoyancy to tissues. So as we age, you start to lose volume. You know, we see it sometimes in women's cheeks. Mm -hmm. We definitely see it uh, through here in the chest of both men and women. And um, we don't seem to see like the fullness in muscles. We start to kind of lose the fullness of ourselves. And hyaluronic acid is, um, starts to also decline as we age. So we want buoyancy, not just in our joints, which is a brilliant place for hyaluronic acid, right. by the way, your joints, right? If you, if you wake up and go, oh my gosh, right? Then you need some hyaluronic acid in your life, omegas too. But um, it's that buoyancy that we're looking for that's gonna give us the bounce in our step. But you guys, it's that same bounce back we're looking for here. And that's where hyaluronic acid in the... Um, the beauty blend can be so powerful. So it's not just about micronutrients. It's also about structural components. And hyaluronic acid is structural. 
And that's an important place to be. I often say that buoyancy, that glide and slide, that bounce back, that's something that hyaluronic acid in this product can do for you. Mm-hmm. And it tastes good too. I know that's it, what it, most people yeah, add. I, I got to tell you, there's, there's some products that just um, really do such a great job. Acai, in my opinion, is the best tasting isotonic on the planet. Mm-hmm. Um, the benefit to that as well, if, I mean, I know this is skin health, but the benefit to acai isn't just that it tastes great. Those amino acids are perfect for keeping the brain on point. They're perfect for keeping us focused without having to like reach for a sugary beverage. Yeah. Tastes great amino acids for brain um, being on point with your brain. It's, I love that product. A lot of people could really use that right now. So I'm (laughs) glad you brought it up because, you know, it's kind of a stressful time too. And I think sometimes our brains are like, you know, kind of on overdrive and and maybe a little foggy. So that I love that. And, and just for you that are watching, I always serve, um, all my clients, some beauty blend when they come and see me, because I just want them to taste it. I also want to open up the conversation and let them know about the benefits of it. But it also just like, it tastes good. It relaxes them. It's, it's nice to offer someone something when they come. So that's kind of why I have it in my studio, in my arsenal here, because I use that very, very often. So I know the other product that's kind of back here right now that is a newer product that everybody has so many questions about is the Pure Collagen. Yeah. So do you want to talk about that a little bit? Well, like when I talked about the hyaluronic acid that's in the skin health or the beauty blend formula, I talked about this bounce back and this fluidity. I also used the word structural, that as we age, we want to make sure that we're holding on to the structure of our tissues, the buoyancy, the cherubness, Mm -hmm. right? That youthful glow. Well, there's structural proteins that we want to pay attention to as well, not just the structure of the actual skin, which is where that hyaluronic acid is beneficial, but we want to pay attention to legitimate structural proteins. And that's what collagen is. It's a building protein. So whether we're talking about um, the fact that collagen accounts for 30% of the body's total protein, but that a disproportionate amount of that protein is found in your teeth, is found in your your skin, is found um, about 16% of your bones are, are collagen. Wow. Um, but you guys, upwards of 75% of your skin and your intestines are collagen. Wow. I didn't know um, And the thing that's really interesting and crazy about that is about, of that 30% that is total body protein is actually collagen. There's only, there's over 15 types of collagen but three of them account for 90% of the body's total collagen. And so when we think about integument, the skin, when we think about healthy connective tissue in the intestines, that's predominantly type one and type three. And there is such thing as type two collagen, but it's a more fibrous collagen. So we, we um, see that being um, um, proportionally, that's more of the, the joint capsule. Um, while there is benefit to pure collagen for that glide and slide of the joint, that flexibility of movement, predominantly the type one and type three collagen that's in this product is structural proteins for skin, for teeth, um, for to some degree for bones, but a great deal of it also for connective tissue in the intestines. Yeah. And now back to where we started, where the road to health is paved with good intestines. Yeah. When you have a healthy barrier in the gut, nutrients are, you're going to be able to let the good stuff in and you're going to keep the bad stuff out. And the reward of that isn't just better health. It's better skin. It's more youthful skin. And um, when people say, you know, um, I'm, I'm really looking for something where I feel younger. I want more people to be like, I would have never guessed your age. Well, I, and I think it's <laughs> mostly peri and postmenopausal women. Yeah. I said, I guarantee you, if you're not hearing that you don't look your age, I never would have guessed that. Um, I tell them you don't have enough protein in your diet. Okay. And if we're going to, because that's your objective, to like get that compliment or just to feel that way. I mean, how awesome is it for us to look in the mirror and be like, 
you got this. Damn, right? That's what we're looking for. Damn, right? Um, then choose a collagen or, or choose a protein that isn't just good for body composition. Choose one that also has some benefits when it comes to skin health. Now we get a lot of questions or I, I'll get a lot of questions about how much is too much. And when it comes to protein, um, this is this is a hydrolyzed peptide, which means it's already broken down, and that's one of its that's one of its blessings. Hydrolyzed peptides are very easy to assimilate. Okay. One of the things that they've been able to show is that hydrolyzed peptides not only are easy to assimilate into the tissue, so for skin, that's why you see benefits so quickly with pure collagen. Nice. As little as four weeks. Now I tell people, I don't know how you're eating. I don't know if you smoke. I don't know how well hydrated you are. So I'm going to ask you to give it eight weeks, but studies have been done on as little as four and as little as wow. two and a half grams to see benefit. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things that I do try to let people know, because it's a hydrolyzed peptide, not only does it assimilate very easily into the body and these tissues, um, but it has an affinity for it. It's just not going anywhere. It has an affinity for skin, has an affinity for the intestines. Um, but one of the other things is that um, collagen peptides have been hydrolyzed in particular, have been shown to also signal the body to create more collagen itself. And so there's a lot of building that's going on when you take a collagen supplement. So while some people will say, don't you need like 15 or 20 grams? Um, perhaps different sources, that would be true. Um, something that's not hydrolyzed, um, that, may be, that may be true. Um, something where you're trying to have a, um, um, a therapeutic effect. And what I mean by that is sometimes if we're trying to restructure after injury, those high amounts are appropriate. Um, but I want to repeat, studies have been done on as little as two and a half grams. Oh, wow. And um, this has five grams of hydrolyzed peptides of type one and type three collagen. So it's really quite, quite powerful. And I, I don't know, um, you know, you and I had this discussion about um, being able to incorporate everything yeah. into our uh, regimen, whether it's a skin cocktail or just the energy and body composition and healthy sleep and, and what have you. I do want people to know that collagen um, can be mixed with a number of different things. If it's a matter about getting it in um, and you're not going to be just taking it on the go, even though it's really easy to take on the go, um, you can mix it in with your smoothie. It's a protein. So I want you to treat it like you would. You can treat it easily like any other protein. It can be mixed with other macros like carbohydrates and fats without any issue. That's good to know. So a lot of people are asking, you know, can I take two a day? Will it hurt if I do that? Will it just be a waste? Like, will you not use it or? It is not a waste. And that is the magic in this case. We know this to be true for a handful of different ingredients, but macronutrients, proteins in particular, remember I had said, if mm -hmm. a woman or a man for that matter were to say to me, um, I, I have a singular focus. I want to age well. The next thing out of my mouth, um, actually the next thing out of my mouth is you need to sleep well then. Yeah. But like every, if you sleep well, everything else falls into place. But what I usually say when it comes to the dietary conversation is you're not getting enough protein. You are not going to have, you can take more collagen. Um, okay. There are plenty of people that will swear that it was 15 grams of collagen. Mm -hmm. that made all the difference in the world. I will say four weeks is a very short period of time to see a product work. Yeah. Um, but, um, but studies that look at even as little as two and a half grams uh, were able to show that people got faster results when they used four grams. In that, in that study where I'm referring to, when they just about doubled up the dose, half again as much, they yeah. were able to see faster results. Well, I think four weeks is pretty fast. Um, there is some evidence that more collagen will work faster than taking just the two and a half or five grams at one time. Okay, that's yeah. great. Yeah, good to know. I, I love it. And I, I want to show everybody because I don't know if everyone has gotten the collagen yet, but it does come in these little um, vials here. So it's really easy to take and it does taste good on its own. 
it does. Um, like you said, you can mix it into things, but I usually just open this up and I just squirt it in my mouth and, and it's, it's great. Um, I've also been giving these out to my good clients to that order from me on a regular basis for them to try it because it is a newer product and I've got nothing but great, great feedback from everybody on the taste and on the formula. So I'm so happy. I should really make sure I'm taking a little bit more though than what I am because I have been forgetting it. So I will take your, your advice and take yeah, it. Yeah, mix it with there. something. You know, I do want to just make mention to people in particular, cause you have, you've got this fortune of the um, client figure to see you. Yeah. And, and so you have this open space to have this dialogue. And as you said, open up that conversation. I do want people to know that feel like, gosh, but how do I do that? I like, I don't have, um, the same kind of structure of a business. Um, how do I get people interested? In particular, as we think about keeping this um, community alive and staying very connected to people. Right. So I just want you guys to know some tips of just, yeah. you know, the, the marketing um, tips that we know from um, um, online retailing, mm -hmm. um, from staying connected. In particular, right now, people want... Um, to hear your voice. They yeah. don't want a text message. They want to feel connected to something. You're so right with and that. So sending them a video, even if you're responding to something instead of texting someone back, if you can send them a video text, that's yeah. good. But when we think about marketing, live videos, um, they only, I mean, less than 30 seconds, mm -hmm. live videos engage people. Yeah. And so when you're trying to get someone to look at a product of yours, you're trying to get them to see it. One of the best ways you can do it is do something active live on your Facebook so that they stop and go, wait a minute, what is Lee doing? Yeah. Right. Um, and so I want you guys to think about real quick, just take popping one of these live as you're walking your dog or you're doing anything, be real life scenarios. Um, you know, we did something in Nutrimetrics called the Pure Collagen Challenge, yeah. where we encourage people to mm -hmm be living their life, but show the, the, the portability of this product and then hashtag pure college and challenge and ask other people to do it. And we had a lot of engagement, not so much because pure college and challenge was easy to hashtag, but because people are like, wait a minute, what is she doing? What is that? It is, it is a wonderful, wonderful way to get people to realize that you have a new product, but also to say that's, that's um, relevant to something that you know, to my life, what she's doing right now, you know, is meaningful to me unconsciously or otherwise that connection is so meaningful right yeah. now. That can, yeah. A lot of people can relate to that. And I feel like collagen right now is you hear a lot about it. So mm -hmm. I think people have maybe heard about it, but they really don't know a lot about it or they don't know maybe where they can get it or what is a good collagen to go with. So right. um, I think everything that you shared is awesome because now they can explain that to their clients and you know the fact that it's hydrolyzed as well um, makes a big difference too and it i know does. you know most of the people on here probably have used our products or are a part of our company and and i know that we always do get the best right so mm -hmm. i've been enjoying it a lot um so if you guys haven't tried it make sure that you do because i think we all want that i mean i don't care if you're a man or a woman we all want to say oh my gosh i didn't know you were as old as you are Right. Like, oh. well, and bringing up the men, I mean, it's not just, I mean, they want bounce back yeah. too. Um, but I do want, I do want to be clear that it's a structural protein and protein's important for aging tissue period. Mm -hmm. Right. So while this isn't something that you're going to take to, to recover from a joint injury, I'm still going to recommend other products like a joint health formula or an enzyme based formula, plant-based enzyme formula like bromelain for, for that kind of injury repair. I'm definitely going to ask for more protein in that case for like healing after an injury, but there's a lot of benefit to that joint flexibility, to that slide and glide um, in men and women with collagen. Yeah, that's great. Now, I also know that you are a huge fan of the women's health, and I know there's I a lot of questions about the women's health, too, because sometimes people will say, well, do I choose the beauty blend or do I choose the women's health? Um, you know, what are your thoughts on that? And tell us what you love about it. Okay. So this is a product I was lucky enough to be, to, 
um, to formulate. Mm -hmm. And, and I formulated it with women in mind, in particular, a woman above the age of 35, where her hormones are starting to um, slide on her. We often joke that once you hit 35, um, as a man or a woman, but as a woman, when you hit the age of 35, the hormones that you did want, they start to leave you. And the yeah. hormones that you don't want, they're coming on on gangbusters. <laughs> and so, true. you know, while the, while the um, timeless prescription is a great way for the liver balance and to deal with hormones and their change and their fluctuations with age from a detox standpoint, um, because detoxing protects the reproductive organs as well, not just the liver and the kidneys. Right. Um, it's protecting anything downstream. And that's an important place to be with timeless prescription. But I specifically formulated this product to produce or help a woman produce more progesterone. Progesterone in women is the whittle your middle hormone. It's the, I can get a good night's sleep hormone. It's the I can feel sexually aroused hormone. It is that I don't want to kill my husband or my partner oh, hormone, <laughs> right? How do I know, Lee, when somebody needs women's health, if she comes up to me and goes, do you know where to bury a body, right? Then I go, you know what? We're going to take that back a notch. Something We're going to just pull that back a notch. And I want you... <laughs> <laughs> to take right now, women's health. It has yeah, magnesium. So it has pycnogenol for the skin, right? It has hyaluronic acid in it, and again, for that bounce back, which is why people will ask the question, can it replace right. my skin health formula? And in this case, it's not going to replace your skin health formula. Remember what I said about that base or that foundation. You're going to still need a multivitamin to bob and weave, to bend and lift and twist. This one is packed with a little more of the nutrients that women spend through very, very quickly. But again, we have, a, we have um, an interest in nutrients that have an affinity for skin health. And that's why the little mini micro um, solution for your skin, the, the, the skin health formula is so good. So one of the things I want to say about this is people ask, can I take both? Right. Yes, they are formulated where they will both be safe yeah. to take together. You will not be in upper ranges of any of the fat soluble vitamins. Yeah. And I, I love, I mean, when we're able to travel again, I love traveling with that because it's so easy to put the little packets, you know, mm -hmm. in, in your suitcase and your luggage. Um, so I, we do have quite a few questions coming in. So let me just kind of go through these a little bit here for you. Um, so uh, I did see one where they're asking, you know, when would you recommend women's health over the anti-aging? Because anti-aging is another isotonics essentials that has, you know, a lot of benefits too for from the inside out. Yeah. So um, I will frequently ask women to take women's health at night um, because I did formulate it for a better night's sleep, okay. for better hormonal balance. And like I said, progesterone is very much um, um, as, as stress um when, when it's in high levels, we feel better. When it's in optimal levels, we feel better. Um, we actually get a better night's sleep. Um, so I often will tell people um, to take anti-aging in the morning and then take women's health at night. If they are concerned about hormone balance, they do um, you know, have mood swings or they're concerned about some of those low progesterone that low progesterone activity. Their sexual arousal has gone down. They feel like they're just, they're, they're getting a little bit, you know, sluggish and that sort of thing. Um, they do want, in this case, if they're already taking anti-aging, I may decide if they have a lot of those, like, I don't feel really great mentally or physically. I may ask them to do anti-aging even for their, I'm sorry, the women's health for their skin over the, the beauty blend simply because I'm going to get more coverage okay. if I do it that way. Um, there's no magnesium uh, or there's not the same amount of magnesium in beauty blend that there is in women's health and B6. And those are two big players in a woman feeling good. Um, but if she's already taking anti-aging and doesn't feel like the sleep part of it's a problem or the ennui part of it's a problem, then I would, I would stick with the beauty blend because it's so targeted to skin. Um, so we do have a question. What is the difference between oxygen extreme and curcumin? A lot. So 
Curcumin Extreme is a product that has um, a whole root of turmeric in it, and that's important. When I say the whole root, I don't mean, I mean, um, that, that sounded like we like shoved a root in there. Um, what I mean is that when that product is made, they didn't extract off a curcumin um, strain or curcuminoids. They left everything that is in that root in there, including the essential oils called humorones. And humorones help with bioavailability. Uh, humorones also help, again, with the health of reproductive hormones, the health of detoxification, support of um, um, a, a response that we have in our joints to injury or discomfort or age. So aging well, curcumin has a lot of benefits mentally and physically, neurologically aging well. There's a huge benefit to curcumin. There's no uh, turmeric in oxygen extreme. We focused on detox botanicals like silymarin, ginkgo for blood flow. Again, that's why it's such a great product for skin health. Um, the beta carotene for skin health as well as for immunity. Um, but they have very, very different ingredients. So while they both end in extreme and they both fall into a detox category, they are working on different organ systems. Uh, curcumin extreme is working on the liver, uh, the testes, the breast tissue, the, um, the ovaries, as well as the brain. And oxygen extreme is working on the liver, the kidneys, the lymphatics, the skin, okay. um, but not all the same tissues. They're not, they're, okay. they, they have a little bit of overlap, but they are working in different parts of the body. I love that answer. I'm glad that someone asked that because I did not know that. Um, so can you take too many antioxidants? So you can take too many synthetic antioxidants. Okay. And that's the big issue in the marketplace is that um, where are the antioxidants derived from? Mm -hmm. And so when we look at um, um, fake, and it's not fake, synthetic antioxidants, you know that Market America uses better ingredients because you see an L in front of them. So oh. when you see things like L-tryptophan, L-carnitine, oh, wow. what that's telling you is that it is a natural ingredient, L-glutamine. Okay. It's telling you it's a natural ingredient. When you see a D in front of something, it's telling you that it is synthetic. And so when you look at our vitamins, mm -hmm. our vitamin E, for example, you can see by its nomenclature that it is not a synthetic vitamin. So it is possible to take too much synthetic vitamin, but that's not what we use in the products. Okay. Is it possible to, and you alluded to this earlier, is it possible to take too much where I'm getting diminishing returns, or I'm just not getting the uh, all of the benefits I could. There is an upper limit to beta carotene. And that's why I made the point earlier that I don't take more oxygen extreme than is recommended, because then I would be getting, in when I add that on top of my multivitamin, I would be getting more beta carotene nice. than I need. Um, while I'm not a smoker and never have been, there are smokers that shouldn't use beta carotene at all. And that's where anti-aging okay. is such a great product because it's our lowest multi, it's our lowest beta carotene multivitamin. Okay. But regardless, it's not a synthetic beta carotene. So the body can metabolize it. Um, things like what I want people to know is when it comes to antioxidants, they all work in different compartments of the body. Mm -hmm. So you need one that's protecting you, protecting you from the outside world. That could be OPCs, that could be resveratrol, that could be ORAC. You want one that's going to get inside the cell and in, in, literally inside the cell antioxidant. That's coenzyme Q10, that's curcumin. Okay. You want one that can kind of shuffle in between both spaces. Mm -hmm. And that's where things like astaxanthin are hugely powerful. That's even more vitamin C is beneficial. In fact, our isotonic astaxanthin, um, because it's water soluble, a cold water soluble, it does have a high bioavailability. And astaxanthin crosses the entire lipid layer of a cell. And so it stabilizes this side and this side. But Lee, because it is, is on this side and this side, it's communicating with both sides, making wow. it a good free radical scavenger for the things that are out here and a good free radical scavenger wow. for the things that are in here. Yeah. So 
One of the benefits to having vitamin C and astaxanthin is that they can help recycle other antioxidants. So your OPCs work that much better in the presence of vitamin C or astaxanthin. Okay. Now our isotonic astaxanthin does have some vitamin C in it. There's acerola and a non-synthetic vitamin E in that product. So there are some other antioxidants in the isotonic astaxanthin. Um, and I just feel because we talked about pure collagen that I need to let people know this. Studies show that astaxanthin can increase hydration by better than 50% in people oh, that wow. use um, six milligrams or more of astaxanthin. But studies show that collagen and astaxanthin together increase collagen production by three to fourfold. Okay. And so I do want you guys to know that synergy um, matters. In this, in this world today, we often talk about an entourage effect that everything together, um, cumulative, has um, um, this entourage effect where there's greater benefit than the sum of the parts, right, than just taking a little piece. Um, that is really true for the way antioxidants work together, is that they create a massive synergy. That's great. So another question is, um, if you are overweight, do you have to take more doses and does it, you know, depend on what product it is? Yeah. So this is, this is something, it's a fantastic question because when it comes to um, things like protein, the answer is yes. Um, protein is often um, recommended based on body weight. Um, and the benefit here is that you get to start to see an improved body composition with protein. It is, it is a fantastic support. And when I think about my like fat burning essentials, protein is always part of it. Um, so with protein, that would be true. With micronutrients, like a multivitamin, yes, this is where an overweight female would see benefit from anti-aging in the morning and women's health at night. Now to speak to that point, she may not get all of the same sleep benefits because uh, she she's using these vitamins for other things. Um, being having Carrying extra weight can make you a little more resistant right. to certain nutrients. Um, but that all starts to work together when we, when we load the body mm -hmm. up. Um, if a man were overweight, I may recommend that he do a daily essentials um, and anti-aging okay. um, and, and get more of those. When it comes to collagen, astaxanthin, um, and I'm going to say a symptom-free individual with antioxidants, and I'm going to pick an OPC3 here, okay. um, that they don't need more. They need enough for... Um, you know, to kind of cover their gaps. Yeah. Um, if someone has, and this is where OPC is fantastic, if somebody has, they've changed, they've had to change their lifestyle because they've had a chronic complaint. This is the person that has to take an elevator because they can no longer take stairs. Uh, that's how I'm going to qualify a chronic complaint. One that has made you change a lifestyle factor like mobility. That's where more of a product to find what your dose is, is a good idea. For most people that are concerned they're gonna to take too much, your bowels will tell you before you ever reach too much. You'll okay. notice gastrointestinal upset before you've had too much for your body. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so does the green tea ECGC have caffeine in it? Or no. Caffeine? So this is just a this great question. I'm really glad someone asked this. ECGCs or green tea, it are um, a, a fantastic, a very high um, actually concentration of caffeine is found in many ECGC products or green tea um, products. In this case, what we're using are the polyphenols, the actual antioxidant. So no, this is a caffeine-free, timeless prescription is caffeine-free. So is ORAC, which also has ECGCs in it, but they're caffeine-free. And um, can the pure collagen be mixed with our beauty blend cocktail or at least the ultimate aloe? Both. Yeah. Um, one of the things that's nice about the pure collagen, because it's hydrolyzed peptides, it's not a fat, so it doesn't, it's not going to offset um, isotonicity the same way a fat would. Okay. Now, astaxanthin, it, and then in the prime family, in the fat soluble, um, is not an appreciable amount of fat. It's a fantastic amount of astaxanthin at six milligrams, but that is not large gram doses. That's not even a gram dose 
of not even close to fat. So fat is usually the thing that's going to upset isotonicity. So your CLA, your omega-3 fatty acids, um, the astaxanth or the, I'm sorry, the collagen, we actually checked. We actually saw, we actually looked to see, could I mix this and still fall within that hyperosmotic range? And we were able to show that you could. Okay, great. Um, so if people are seeing some things that come with aging skin, um, some of the things we see as we age, such as, you know, some hyperpigmentation, um, we might see some wrinkling and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like if someone is starting to see that, what are the best products to recommend, um, you know, as you age for, for something right. like those things? What's nice about the collagen is that it has been shown in a short period of time to decrease the line depth and line length, okay, of uh, fine lines. Um, wrinkles are created very much so by, mus you know, muscle activity, so stop doing that, stop scowling, right? <laughs> but, um, but, but with age comes a loss of volume, and that is often hydration-driven, Right. Um, so I'm, I have to go back and just get back to the tenets of like good, sound hydration. We should be drinking more water, staying mm -hmm. hydrated. Um, minerals do a lot of the lifting. And that's why I really pick on that, um, that, you know, that foundation. But from a skin brightening standpoint, yeah. from um, age related, um, you know, sometimes we'll, we'll just call them sunspots, brown spots, age spots. Some of them are hormone spots and they're right. coming from right. that. Um, um, vitamin C is still considered a very good clarifier of the skin. Mm -hmm. OPCs are great clarifiers of the skin or brighteners of the skin. These are some of the reasons why we put Beauty Blend together the way that we did so that you would have these antioxidants that protect the skin, but also can do something to clarify the skin. Um, I would um, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, talk about, because of what you just asked, if I didn't talk about the Lumiere, this is not inside out, this is a topic. No, topical, no, go for it. Lumiere de V um, vitamin C yes. uh, serum. Um, you know, a lot of people will say, I can get a vitamin C serum. What's the big deal? Um, this has more than just vitamin C. Now, they the vitamin C that was chosen um, was chosen to stay very stable. So it wouldn't oxidize. It's not just that brown glass that stops it from oxidizing. Um, it, it's a very stable mm -hmm. vitamin C. And you know the difference when you feel it on your skin. You've maybe felt other vitamin Cs where it feels like they're dry almost immediately. Yeah. You put them on and you're like, I feel like I need another drip. Yeah. Like you try to do that neat Instagram thing where it like drips <laughs> down your cheek and it's not dripping. Because yeah. it's just, it's like in and then it's flat and almost right. tacky. Not yeah. tacky. It's, um, it's dry, like almost like... Like yeah. I can't move it right? because it, it just went in and then it was over. Mm -hmm. And so that is a sign that the vitamin C is not stabilized. Well, it's almost, it didn't oxidize right away, but it didn't get that glide and slide. And so that's one of the benefits to this, but there's a magic ingredient in this product called Ectoin. And I mean, there's glycosides in it, which are part of the slippery as well. Um, and those are, again, glycosides, in this case, they come from algae. Think about what algae looks like. It's like these little hydration balloons, yeah. right? These little like um, yeah. pop of, of um, these little bubbles of mm -hmm. micronutrients that are so concentrated. So while there is the, the, the glycosides in there that from the algae, again, think of the poof of algae, um, of algae the, the little hydration balloons. Um, ectoin is really this magic thing in here. Ectoin is um, something that creates a healthy skin biome. So a healthy skin biota or biota. Um, and what they've been able to show with ectoin, I just got to do it like this. Yeah. What they've been able to show with ectoin is that healthy skin has a barrier like this. Healthy skin has thickness from here to here. Okay. okay. But what they have found with age, obviously, with that hydration loss, loss of volume, right? You start to get like this, like almost like it's caving in, okay? Yeah. Well, in that caving in, there's also these gaps that form. And that is a kind of terrain that leads to that, um, that sense of like there's too much depth 
in my skin or the lines and wrinkles, things seem to sit, what do we say, on the face. Yeah. Right? It looks like it's settled in my face or in a crease or something like that. Right? Ectoin's been shown because it protects the biota of the skin to actually take skin that's kind of crumbling in on itself like this due to lack of structural protein. Wait, what? Structural protein? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not really kidding. That's a structural protein. We're both going to be doing one of those before the <laughs> Before you go to bed. <laughs> but so we can get that structure back. But Ectoin's been shown to literally take thinning skin and do this with it and get wow. it back here and creating a healthy barrier. I love that. Um, the, the, it's derived from salt beds and salt beds are incredibly inhospitable to life. So the little bugs that live there are pretty powerful mm -hmm. and they are able to create a healthy skin biota. And wow. that may make all the difference in the world from that aging, from the sunspots to the aging skin to things wow. trying to collapse, but we want them to have that youthful bounce. I love that. I love that. Um, okay, so I'm just kind of reading through the rest of the questions here. Um, I think you answered some of these already. Um, speak about, okay. Um, let's see, I think we're pretty good. And I know we took up a lot of your time tonight and- Oh, I'm um, the one that takes up all the time. I can't stop talking. I know, well, I know you love talking about it, but someone is asking about the flyers. Um, so there is one for, Time, timeless Prescription Oxygen Extreme. Um, there's one for Pure Collagen, and we're going to actually have a couple more flyers that will be available very soon for the Pure Collagen. And we also have two new flyers for the OPC Beauty Blend. We're just going to kind of flash them. And if you're having a hard time finding them in the back office, we actually did upload them to the Motives Official Pro Partners, the skincare group that we have. So they are there. Um, you might be able to find them a little bit quicker there. So if you're not in that group, it's called Motive Skincare Official Pro Partners. It's a newer group that we have where we just put a lot more of our skincare information, um, you know, for those that want it there. So, um, gosh, there's a lot of questions here. But I know there some people are, this will be like our last question, but some people are asking like, they know that the collagen isn't vegetarian. Is it ever going to be, or are we ever going to have a collagen that is a vegetarian collagen? We are not. And here's the reason why collagen doesn't exist in a vegetarian source. Yeah. And there are vegetarian or vegan collagens out there. They are um, synthetic. Mm -hmm. And so we, you know, and, and I'm not going to take anything away from a, veg, a vegan, a plant based, someone that eats plant based, but there are certain things that do not. Um, agree with nature and a synthetic collagen is one of them. Um, um, while people will um, um, adhere to that lifestyle, um, they may want to look at a vegetarian collagen, just know that, it's, that it is synthetic. And the unfortunate thing, at least right now in the vegetarian collagen industry, it's also a GMO alternate um, synthetic protein, like they're growing it and they're using GMO organisms to do it. And that's not me trying to bash anybody. It's just currently how it's done. It's just how it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So, well, I really appreciate you being here tonight. Thanks and so much for taking over. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm just happy that we, we had this conversation because I know that everybody has learned from you um, so much and we'd love to have you again. So if that's possible, <laughs> maybe we can plan something in the near future. Um, whether it's during this pandemic or even after would be absolutely Yeah, and the pro partner page or anywhere we decide to do it. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. And thanks everybody for being on tonight and uh, have a good night. I know it's getting late. So thanks for hanging out with us on this beautiful night. Perfect. Right, thanks thanks so much for being with me tonight. Yeah, Bye now, you guys. Bye.